back to Every Disney Movie Ever. My name is Justin. I'm watching Every Disney Movie Ever, and I found a movie! Today, I'm going to be discussing A Boy Called Nothing. A Boy Called Nothing is a 1967 Disney's Wonderful World of Color television release. It is directed by Norman Tokar, cinematography by William E. Snyder, editing by Robert Stafford, the music is by George Bruns, and it's written by Lowell S. Hawley and James Layton. Norman Tokar I covered in the video about Candleshoot, the link will be in the description. William E. Snyder is best known for the loves of Carmen, Aloma of the South Seas, Terry and the Pirates, and Creature from the Black Lagoon. Robert Stafford is best known for Summer Magic, Mosby's Marauders, Orient Express, and Napoleon and Samantha. George Bruns, I covered in the video about Sleeping Beauty, the link will be in the description. Lowell S. Hawley is best known for Babes in Toyland, Zorro, Swiss Family Robinson, and The Adventures of Bullwhip Griffin. James Layton is best known for It's a Man's World, My Three Sons, Tarzan, and The Littlest Hobo. The film is based off a book called Nothing by Harry E. Webb, released in 1952. I couldn't find a synopsis, so I will not be able to compare them. The film stars Ron Howard, Forrest Tucker, Donna Butterworth, John Carroll, and Mary LaRoche. Ron Howard plays Richie Nothing Caldwell, and is best known for Arrested development, Happy Days, Apollo 13, and A Beautiful Mind. Horace Tucker plays Uncle Tug and is best known for The Crawling Eye, F Troop, and Pony Express. Donna Butterworth plays Laura Kate and is best known for Paradise Hawaiian Style, The Family Jewels, Summer Fun, and This. John Carroll plays Sagebrush and is best known for Zora Rides Again, Flying Tigers, Congo Macy, and Old Los Angeles. Mary LaRoche plays Carrie and is best known for Bye Bye Birdie, Gidget, The Twilight Zone, and Run Silent, Run Deep. The original video for this film, link in the description, was released September 4th, 2017. I was unable to find the film. Obviously, this was actually the first film I was unable to find, which is really kind of cute that I found it, and now I get to do it, and it's the first found one I get to do, which is kind of fun. And all I really said about it was what I could find, so I summarized the film, which was really, it was about a boy named who gets a nickname called Nothing, and he is sent to live with his uncle, and that is basically the premise of the film. I don't have old notes, so I'm really just going to talk about the new ones. This film was actually quite adorable. Ron Howard obviously is a very good actor, and he's in quite a few Disney films back during this time, during the 60s. He was in one of my favorite Disney films, Smoke. So he's an excellent actor. I'll go a little bit more in depth about the story. The first half of the story is really about how Richie, nothing, is sent. They don't say anything about his father, so I don't know if his father is dead or absent or what have you, but they say his mother got a new job and it involved a lot of travel, but she'll be able to take better care of Richie money-wise, so she sent Richie to live with his uncle in the West, and his uncle's a very rootin' tootin' broody cowboy, and Richie is the exact opposite. Richie lived in Chicago in a nice, you know, city, and because his mom had to work, he was the one that kept house. So he's very good at that kind of stuff instead of the typical cowboy manly things. So his uncle's a little like, oh, I thought you were going to be able to do a lot of work. And he's like, I can do whatever you need me to do. And that's really the first half of the film, the second half of the film, because obviously this was a two-part episode. It's Disney Wonderful World of Color. The second half of the film is really rounding up the horses and the Mustangs and focusing on building kind of that relationship between Richie and his uncle and it was a really solid film. I really enjoyed it. It was nice to go back to those movies that were in the 60s. I thought it was going to be really really slow but it surprisingly wasn't as slow as I expected it to be. Richie befriending Laura Kate was a very beautiful friendship and their friendship led to the hatred between Uncle Tug and Sagebrush being finished and Laura Kate's mother Carrie was hysterical. She was one of my favorite characters in the film. All in all, I really enjoyed it. I don't have that many notes. I got emotional toward the end of this film, but I did not cry, and I also didn't get clarification on whether Richie's dad passed away or not. So, the original movie count for this was... And uh, parent deaths won't cry count are still the same because uh, we have nothing to add now. So, uh, I should rate it, huh? I should rate it. Wow, um... I'm writing it after I did the total movie count, which is weird, but, uh, I don't know, maybe like a six. It was fine. Maybe a five. That was fine. Five dogs, horses, complicated relationships out of ten. <laughs> I did total movie count. I did parent and school cry count. If you want to keep up with my movie I'm watching, when follow me on Instagram or Twitter, you'll find out what movie I'm watching when I put up videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Until next time, comment, like, subscribe, but I don't know who you are, so you do, and wow, um, 
There's no real evil character in this film, but do be a movie I find about it. I want to find them. Yes. Remember, I'm doing a Q&A very soon, so please, please, please ask any questions and all questions, and I will answer them. If I don't get enough questions, I'm not doing a Q&A, and I know a lot of people want me to do a Q&A, so please ask me some questions. Also, I found a movie, and it's really exciting, and I'm really glad I get to do some found movies. I think I have maybe four? I don't know. But I'm thinking I'm going to start putting all the movies I haven't been able to find in the description, so people always know. We'll see.